Um, okay, I'm going to do a quick repeating myself. This is the Geek Gear Classic. And I'm not going to assume that necessarily the same people who watch the Geek Gear Classic are the same people who watch the Geek Gear Wizarding. Um, so, as brief as I can, I recently discovered that I can live stream. Um, I thought you needed 100 members to do that from your phone, but apparently not. So, first of all, thank you to those of you who are subscribers. I appreciate you. Um, you're awesome. Um, but also, yeah, so would it, would me live streaming these unboxings and therefore you actually get to discover the items at the same time as me be something you'd be interested in? Or is that, you know, you're just going to get to it when you get to it and not worry, not really be bothered? Um, to give you sort of timing and context um it's just got nine o'clock uk time now um i would normally aim to do these between half six and eleven at late uh, sorry half six and nine at latest um uk time so you know i don't know where you are if that's if that's even plausible um thoughts are welcome um secondly quick um full disclosure um i'm recording this on October the 2nd, um, having just done my unboxing video, uh, my uh, wearables unboxing video, but I'm starting instead of, because I was doing like all the unboxings and uploading them all at once, and now it's probably best to spread them out. So I am recording two in one day, but I'm giving you them over two days. Also, um, if you haven't seen my videos further down the line, uh, we had a fire in my building yesterday everyone well there's one person um but otherwise everyone's fine <coughs> so i i, I can't got, i got my note from the um post office about there having been um a fire and i just thought that was kind of funny so there you go but we have oh geek gear classic which is a heavy one this week this month and yes it's september it's the it's first week of october even though it's supposed to be the september box um, but yes, uh, 20, I think £24, pounds, £25 pounds for new subscribers. Um, general geekery goodness. <coughs> um, use your disclaimer. Oh, excuse me. Use your disclaimer. Um, because it's the general geekery and I don't actually know what's in it, like the specific like fandoms, it might be something that I'm not necessarily a fan of. That is not a reflection on the quality of the item, which is almost always good and almost always worth the money overall for the whole box. So sometimes it's things I don't necessarily like or I'm not into, but again, not the, not the fault of the box. That being said, I actually remember the theme this month and the hint theme was monsters, with it being in time for Halloween and such. And usually, again, if it's not necessarily my fandom or a film I've watched, it does tend to promote really nice artwork, really interesting design work. So, um, if nothing else, what's in here should look good, even if it's not necessary that I, I would go out and buy myself. But enough, enough preamble. Let us do the booth thing. And get myself probably pulling. There you go. But yeah, this has got some weight to it. All right, here we go. Black paper, as always, because it's non-house specific. Uh, ooh, oh, we are starting strong. We are starting strong. Uh, it's a t-shirt. Um, there is nothing to complain about here. Um, it's quite big on the design, is it? Is that a long sleeve? Ooh, it's a long sleeve as well. Awesome. So let me just start uh, over this corner. Um, let's see a quick look there. Um, we uh, we got we got what there. We got a bit of that there. Are we are we sensing a theme here? I think we're sensing a theme. Um, so it is, of course, a Cyberman, a K9, a Bowtie, a classic style Sonic screwdriver. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, that looks like, is that 9 and 10's Sonic Screwdriver? And, yeah, I believe that is Capaldi and a Dalek. And what looks like actually Jodie Whittaker. Looks like um, Doctor 13. 
And when I initially looked at it, I thought it might have been Eleven, which I've been really happy with because Eleven's kind of one of my favourite Doctors. Um, for those of you wondering, it's Five, Nine and Eleven. I'm looking forward to loving Jodie. Um, but yeah, no, this is cool. And then obviously we do have um, Eleven's Sonic. And obviously that's a TARDIS before anyone acts me. Um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a Doctor Who t-shirt. Um, I will say that um, it is kind of a busy design. It's quite plastic. It starts quite low down, actually. I mean, if I were to uh, stand up with this, so it comes down... I don't know, it comes to about... That's about... That, that's my navel. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's really cool. I like that. That's a good start. And it does fit the theme of monsters. And um, more power for having Jodie Whittaker on there as well, even though she hasn't really started yet. Although she is starting ooh, on Sunday. Next week, I'm so looking forward to it. And yes, I'll probably will do a review on this website. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, no, loving that. Good start. Good strong start. Well done. Uh, there's a poster. But I'll leave that till last. Uh, what have we got? What are you... Night Widows Watch, The Paps, The Fingers, Care Hold. Oh, okay, yeah, it is what I thought it was. Bay of Seals. It is. I'm guessing that says Westeros. I'm guessing this is a map of Westeros, i.e. Game of Thrones. Um, but I'm not sure if it's like um just a flag or some other piece of cloth. I don't think it's a cushion cover. It looks like it'll be too big. Well, it's that um, slightly cheapy material, which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, I've just seen something else in there that's in there. Um, it's that slightly eh material. I don't like. Really don't like touching. Um, it looks like it's just. Oh, I'm gonna have to unfold the whole thing on I? Yes, there you go. Oh, <sighs> it, it's a it's a wall hanging. Um, I'm not a massive Game of Thrones fan. And I'm not sure how it fits into the theme of monsters. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of the theory. Okay, there are dragons, though. I suppose that would count as monster. Um, the Lannisters, the Starks, and Joffrey. I know the names. Um, he's working his way through the uh, series. He's to be fair, he's watching both the um, he's watching the series and reading the books, kind of in tandem. So that's interesting. But yeah, there's. There's a whole bunch of place names that I don't know. Uh, it's quite long. Again, if I stand up. Oh. There you go. There's a lot of it. Uh, yeah. It's a neat item. It's in that material that's... That polyester material that doesn't seem to want to be soft ever. And if you're a Game of Thrones fan, I can imagine this being a really cool thing to have. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it is good. I like it. I mean, you know, I can see it as a, a, its value as a collector's item. As For someone who is a fan of the show, this would be a really cool thing for them to have. Um, again, it's just not my show. This is not the thing I ever really liked. Ah, but there we go. Yeah, so um, a cloth map of Westeros. And please forgive me whilst I pop it back in its bag because it needs to go back in the because I like to keep things nice if I'm not going to splay things straight away then I do try and keep them as nice as possible whoa you thing literally got it in was about to unfold it and it slid out again not cool so um, any Game of Thrones fans in my audience is this something that you you would like Are you were you looking at that going ooh that's cool um, feel free to say something I mean, Oh, sorry, 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 headphone users. There we go. And it's back in its packaging. But yeah, I mean, I'm curious to know if you are, you're a fan. Because, yeah, they're out there. What are you? I mean, obviously I know your socks. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, geeky socks. We have... I'm going to take this out of the bag. Excuse me, headphone users. Ooh. Okay, I've just seen two items um, that I'm loving without even trying. 
I might, I, I, I'm just going to undo these. I've, I've, I've undone the other pairs. I haven't worn them yet, to be fair, but they're, cause they're quite long. Uh, these are like the normal size. Yeah. We have... Wow! Boom! Pow! Zap! Boom! Awesome! Zap! Bam! Uh, is that a zoink? Oh, zonk! We have a zonk. Uh, oh, feels nice. We have a zonk there. Uh, yeah, these are cool. Yeah, th these are good. I like a good pair of socks and these are funny. Um, you know, at this rate, with all these socks I'm getting, I could easily join the Super Carlin Brothers Sock Club. Maybe I'll do that one day. Maybe one day I'll do that. But yeah, these are... These are normal length, like the ones I got the other month were like really super long. These are like normal ones. So that's cool. So I'll just let me tidy those up. There we go. That, that's how I fold my socks, in case you're wondering. Nice and tidy like that. Little packages. Alrighty. Um, okay. I don't think I have this one. Oh, no, I don't have this one. Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, or if I haven't spoken about it here, um, I think I have. I mean, I'm sure it's come up before. I really like the Legend of Zelda games. I really do. And Breath of the Wild has been my crack for ages. Now, some people... The, 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 the item that this is, some people don't like them. They think it's filler items. Personally, I don't mind. I haven't really used, used them much. But I don't mind. And I think you'll agree that regardless of whether or not it's your fandom, it is gorgeous. Look at the hat. It is a notebook. It is A5 notebook. But it's um kind of meh. Not really leatherette But um it's got the uh, the Sheikah Sheikah eye on the pages. Uh, the inside cover is Oh, that's like Kalaya. That is lovely. I'm liking that. So we got an embossed link with his bow, that's like the ancient arrow. Um, with all the symbols, the Zelda, the Z thingy, the Legend of Zelda on the thing. This says something, but I don't know what it says because I haven't got my notes right now. Um, what I will do is I will translate this and leave it in the description. Oh, if anyone else wants to translate it, they can do, but yeah, so, um, it probably says something just like notebook or something. Um, but that, that is, that is a language. It has an alphabet. I just, uh, it's, it's in, it's in there somewhere. I'll have to dig it out and, um, translate it. <coughs> and on the back cover, we have the embossed Sheikah eye. We're going with the, um, golden everything. And the inside cover. Oh, the inside cover is a different image and it has a pocket. Is there something in the pocket? There is nothing in the pocket, but it has a pocket as well. I don't think I've had a notebook with a pocket before. That, or I have had a notebook with a pocket, I just haven't noticed the pocket. But yes, I like this. I know some people think the notebooks are, are filler and they don't like them, but personally, I think they're great. Um, if you remember a little while ago, I actually deliberately paid for, paid for another Legends of Zelda um, writing set and I got this one so yeah I don't have a problem with the the um, notebooks um, and I think you'll agree that they look lovely together so yeah um, I like my notebook notebook I like okay where are we going you can go there uh, that's the bit of paper and this is the other ooh um, because it is a Geek Gear, Geek Gear exclusive, licensed um, exclusive, and um, it's 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 that thing again. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Uh, A5? Mm, slightly bigger than A5, but nothing like A4. Look at that! And yes, you can look at it in recursive in the in the um in the image of itself. So it's both a recursion and an angel because it's the image of itself. Um, Doctor Who. So it looks like it might be the new design. But that is awesome. I'm This one probably will have to find room for it somewhere. 
I've got so many art prints and work, you know, bits and pieces that I haven't put up simply because, you know, I haven't got the room. But um, actually, I lie. I put the Jurassic Park thing above the door just because it amused me to have Jurassic Park above the door. Um, but yeah, no, I like this, and it's like properly, nicely, thickly framed. There's no actual um, hooks, but I guess I can sort of, you know, it's thick enough. You know, if you can see in there, it's got enough of a drop that I could just whack in a couple of nails and just, you know, hook it on. But yeah, no, I like this. Um, let me guess, that's got to be about 5 to 10. These are not cheap. Le framed, again, probably a tenner. So that's 20 quid all, all alone, on its own. 5 to £8 pound for the socks, because they are fanish socks, but they might be the lower end of that. T-shirt, about a tenner. Um, this cloth poster, um, at least 10 15 And I've just remembered, we do have this. We do have this other poster, so um, let me just twizzle it and get it out. It is, oh, that's a good, that's a fresh poster. What are you? What are you? Any guesses? It, there you go. There's um, a little bit of what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's supposed to be a monster themed. So, I mean, it could be another Zelda poster. That doesn't help. <coughs> oh. 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 Oh wow! Oh oh wow! Okay, um, I know what it is now. I need to fully unroll it, and this—if I find the room to put this up, this will definitely get pride of place. Um, it's signed. Oh, I don't know how many exclusives this are. This has got to be at least a ten on its own as well. Let me just unfurl it completely. Look at that! I'm glad I saved this till last. Look at it! Deadpool two poster. Don't there's Deadpool, there's um Kane? No. There's 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 Thanos. Um obviously uh Colossus, Negasonic, Domino, and and Russell. And as I say, it is signed. That is very cool! I am very happy with that. Um It's obviously a reproduction. But it's a signed reproduction, and a really, anyway, let's see if I can get the whole thing in frame. Really, really gorgeous. That that definitely deserves a frame. Um, I'm going to put it back in its tube and keep it nice for now. But yeah, if I find space for that, that is definitely going up somewhere. It's like, the trouble is with this slightly thicker paper, is I think it's slightly creased in reason why I'm holding it. But that's on me, not on them. Oh yeah, definitely like that. So, um, art print. One high quality art print like that, I guess at least five to ten pounds for a rolled up one. So we've definitely made our money. We've definitely made our money. So we've got the gorgeous art print, the funky, you know, zap bam boom socks, the very, very pretty Legend of Zelda notebook. I like it. I like notebooks. I've got loads of empty notebooks, I'm not gonna deny it, but this is a quality one. Um lovely Doctor Who art print, which I'll probably will find some space for the awesome fantastic um you know another hyperbole geronimo um t-shirt of the doctor westeros cloth map i think that's everything cool right where's my bit of paper let's add this up shall we blimey this is a long video exclusive um canvas map uh, winter is coming this month. We've excluded the detailed canvas map. Why somebody be a keen addition to many fans' collection? That's £12. Okay, I've just seen the box hint for next month, so that's interesting because um, it's not one I normally would bother with. Uh, exclusive comic socks, £6. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild notepad. Yeah, I told you, £10 for the notebook, £10 for the framed art print. Uh, in keeping with the t-shirt this month. So it's supposed to be monster. They did say the thing was monster. Unless I got the um things model. Unless it meant monster for the Wizarding World box. Huh. Either way, this has been a good box. Uh exclusive signed art poster. Um Paul Tonner, T-O-N-N-E-R. Has done it again with this awesome copy, this did um copy of a digitally drawn poster. 
hand sign and look fantastic Harmony comic book movie, or movie fan wall. Um, yeah. So Paul Tana, well done. I, I I really appreciate it. that's very nice. And then the exclusive on t shirt. Um, tribute to Doctor Who, whose name is not known. Um, yeah. So fifteen for the t shirt, six for the socks, we'll call that twenty one. Thirty one uh, 41, 51, 63, the post, 63, and I said 20 pound, um, or 25 pound for new, new subscribers. Why, why am I the only one with this box? Why do you not have this box already? It's always worth the money. So I mean this, and it's not like it's filler items. I know I'm kind of waxing romantic now, but it's even... Even the filler item of a notebook is a high quality ten pound notebook. So you know more people should subscribe to Geek Gear. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to like I said. If you don't like the Harry Potter stuff, fine. You, you know, not everyone's going to be watching the Harry Potter videos. But if you are interested in more general geekery stuff, then you know the quality is there. Uh, next month's theme is Walking Dead, which is slightly eh because it's not normally specified a single show. However, that could just be zombie merch. It just could be like, like T virus stuff or something. So, optimistic, cautiously optimistic, cautiously skeptical. Um, you know, I'll approach that with caution, dead inside. But only because I don't watch it. That's not a reflection on the quality show. I hear good things about it. Um, I think I have, or at least I've seen a copy of the comic. Um. I'm hoping it's more of a gen general zombie themed thing, or maybe that's just one clue for something that'll be in there. Um, but again, if you haven't seen the other video, today's person is Alicia always. So well done you. And yeah, I'm going, I've definitely gone on too long about this box. My throat's starting to hurt. I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. You are awesome. Please let me know how you feel about me doing this as a live stream. Meanwhile, as I say, you're all awesome. I appreciate you watching. I've been Michelle. You've been listening. And I will see you next time. Bye.